Good evening and welcome to the Livonia Public Schools Board of Education special voting meeting. We've got a great uh, agenda here. We have somebody special that we are going to appoint this evening. So we're going to get uh, right to business here and Mrs. Acosta, would you take the roll please? Mrs. Bonifield? Here. Mrs. Burton? Here. Mrs. Frank? Here. Mrs. Jarvis? Here. Mr. Johnson? Here. Mrs. Acosta is here. President Bradford? Here, and we have a quorum. Um, and we're going to move on to uh, item number two, of the audience communications. I have no blue slips uh, at the table this evening, so we can go ahead and move on to uh, a special event here. N item three, the appointment of Hayes Principal. May I have a motion, please? President Bradford. Mrs. Bonifield. Move that the Board of Education of the Livonia Public School School District accept the recommendation of the superintendent and appoint Christine Broom as principal at the Hayes Elementary School. Support. Support. Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, we have a motion by Mrs. Bonifield, uh, supported by Mr. Johnson, for the appointment of Hayes principal. And and I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Keats. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, what you can't see is what I can see, and it is a packed audience here tonight uh, made up of a lot of Hayes Huskies and Hoover Rockets, as well as a lot of family members. So thank you all for being here this evening. So we are super excited to bring forth this recommendation to you, the Board of Education, this evening for Mrs. Christine Broom as the principal at Hayes Elementary School. Uh, Christine is no stranger to Livonia as she grew up here and is a proud Spartan graduate. In fact, she shared a little anecdote. Uh, third Hour Foods is where she met her husband, who happens to be in the audience this evening. So I want to know what you were cooking that day. Um, so we are super excited to welcome her her family this evening as we share a little bit about Christine and why we recommend her uh, for this position. So she has been with us for nearly a decade as a teacher in LPS. She started out at Johnson Upper Elementary as a resource room teacher in our special education cross-categorical center. She spent four wonderful years there as a teacher working with students, team leads, parents, families, um, you name it. She, she met with everybody and worked with everybody on that staff and she uh, shared in her interview that she loved her experiences there. Uh, after that, she spent some time at Hoover Elementary as the resource room teacher there, where she got to um, enhance her skills and work with special education students in a different capacity. From there, uh, I think it was around the time where she went back to school for her degree in leadership, where she was spreading her wings to, to meet with general education students who may been in need of more support. So she used her knowledge as a special education teacher and said, how can I help all students at Hoover Elementary, where she became an elementary support teacher focusing on academics. Again, she wanted to spread her wings even further and decided to take on the role of the behavior EST at Hoover, where she led a school-wide implementation of PBIS. She guided parents through uh, MTSS and IEP supports from the teacher lens, assisting the principal in this role as well. Her staff uh, go to her as a, a person they can count on, as evidenced by the folks who are here in the audience this evening. Her former principals speak the world of her. Through her interview, we saw nothing but grace, poise, determination, focus, and a love of learning and a desire to lead Hayes Elementary to be great. So we are so excited to bring forth Christine this evening. She is here with her family, her three cute little kids who are future LPS students, one of which will be a Hoover Rocket in kindergarten. Uh, Christine's per, uh, professional preparation <laughs> includes a uh, Western Michigan University degree, a Bachelor of Special Education with Cognitive Impairments and Learning Disabilities, and a dual master's in both Educational Leadership and Special Education Administration, and she has served internships with our leaders in both uh, departments. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Christine Broom. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, Christine, one second, we have to vote. So, so we don't want to forget that, but we do, we, oh, very important. But we do have comments or we vote first. Is that how we, we're going to vote. I did that wrong last time, I think. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I got it this time. Mrs. Acosta, would you take the roll, please? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield. Yes. 
Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mrs. Burton. Yes. Mrs. Frank. Yes. Mrs. Jarvis. Yes. Mrs. Acosta says yes. President Bradford. Yes, and that motion carries. Welcome. <laughs> Do you want us to make our comments after, or would you like to speak first? We'll have you speak, and then we'll make all our wonderful comments. Thank you. Did it turn green? OK, press it, just tap it. Oh, there we go. Awesome. All right, good evening. Thank you, school board, Superintendent Oquist, Bill Green, and the entire LPS cabinet. I am thrilled and deeply honored to accept this position. Livonia Public Schools has been a significant part of my life, from being a student in kindergarten all the way through 12th grade, to serving as a staff member for nearly the last 10 years. And this year I'll begin my journey as an LPS parent when my son Ben starts kindergarten this fall. I am filled with pride for this district, and I'm excited to step into this new role as a leader within LPS. I want to thank my family for your unwavering support, encouragement, and love. To my husband, Matt, and our three, <laughs> and our three beautiful children, Ben, Allie, and Grace. Thank you for always believing in me and supporting me in everything that I do. To my parents, who instilled a love of learning and curiosity at a young age and encouraged me to pursue a career in education. And to my sister-in-law, Katie, a fellow LPS teacher. Together we find so much joy in the work that we do and sharing this passion with you is one of my greatest gifts. During my time at both Johnson and Hoover, I've been so fortunate to work with many incredible students, families, and staff members. The relationships we formed and the time that we have spent together has shaped me into the leader that I am today. To the Hoover community, thank you for so many amazing years. I can't wait to continue as a member of the community, but this time as a parent. You will still find me volunteering to work the popcorn and cotton candy machine at all of our after school events. <laughs> to the Hoover staff, thank you for all that you've taught me. I'm a better educator and a stronger leader because of the culture of collaboration and all the ways that we've supported one another. To two of my biggest mentors, Mike Draskovich and Julie Lynn, thank you for taking the time to teach me so much about the ins and outs of leading an elementary building, and most importantly, for showing me how to lead with care and compassion. I am incredibly lucky to have worked with both of you, and I can't wait to continue to work alongside you. To the Hayes community, I am so excited to start this journey together. I am eager to support you and to work together to continue to build a school community where all of our Hayes Huskies thrive. And to the Hayes staff, Thank you for such a warm welcome and for the abundance of kindness that you have already shown me. I am so fortunate to join such a wonderful team. And to Mr. Grizak, who's been an incredible support already. It's true, it's, it's clear how much he truly loves Hayes and how much he cares so deeply for the staff, students, and families there. For many years, I have dreamed of being an elementary principal, and I am humbled by this opportunity and excited to join the Hayes community. I can't wait to get started. Thank you. Congratulations, and congratulations to Hayes and LPS for having another administrator join our team who has such a phenomenal background. Um, whenever we're looking at administrative positions, it's, it's always a toss-up with, with the different types of backgrounds and, and characteristics that an individual can bring to the, to the individual school community, whether they be an internal versus an external candidate. And there are pros and cons to both, but it always does warm my heart when we have a Livonia Public Schools person who, who truly understands our culture, our community, um, who is able to step up into that role. Um, looking at your background, I'm excited for the, for the Hayes community because it's, it's rather unique to have your wide variety of experiences that you can bring into this role already um, from help from really a lot of experience with our special education and our general education population because there aren't clear lines in everything anymore, and, and to be able to have experiences with, with kids across the board is so, so valuable. Um, but we are just very, very excited and, and thrilled to have you join, it, to join the administrative team here. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Burton. Anybody else? And Mrs. Frank. Thank you. Congratulations. We are so excited and looking forward to it, and I think um, becoming a parent will just enrich you professionally and um, help
help you as you grow and learn in your um, leadership experience. So congratulations. We're so thankful for your family and your darling kids that are here. We are loving watching them. They're so, so sweet. Um, they're so cute. But I also want to thank all of our elementary staff who's here tonight. I just think it says so much about our school community and the culture that we have in so many different schools that you all come and support each other and love each other. and. The mentorship that you have for one another is amazing. So I just want to say thank you all for what you do day in and day out. And I just, we as a, as a board appreciate and as the administration appreciates all that you do as well. So congratulations and thank you for all that you guys do. I can't stop looking at the leaders. <laughs> <laughs> I got to concentrate. <laughs> congratulations. Uh, we're such a beautiful family and we're all so excited for you to start your new job and your new role over at Hayes. Um, I know Mrs. Oakus wants to speak. Mrs. Oakus. Mr. Johnson, did you uh, want oh, to speak? Mr. Please Johnson please. wants yeah. to speak. Just a couple of things. Okay. Uh, you have a very impressive resume. Um, you're a Mac uh, graduate, Toledo here. Although you were Western, we, we, <laughs> we'll, we'll make an exception. Um, I think it says volumes about you with the crowd that we have, mm -hmm. the support that you have, um, that you're a Livonia uh, student inside and out and now you have an opportunity to pass that knowledge on to the next generation and i'm going to make a uh, uh, a plug for the lps education foundation if he's going into kindergarten <laughs> set him up for the competitive edge oh my gosh <laughs> good, good work Thank mark you. good work um, Mrs. Oquist. Thanks so much, President Bradford. So Mrs. Keats did a great job mm -hmm. um, sharing the professional background uh, of Mrs. Broom and a little bit about why we are recommending, why we recommended her to you this evening. I think you've been able to capture some of that um, in her comments to us as well as what you've heard from our HR uh, folks. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Green for leading this process and for um, our administrative team and our cabinet team who took part um, who we elevate as leaders speaks volumes about what we value in an organization. And so when we think about Mrs. Broom and we think about not only her professional qualities, but her personal characteristics and who she is as a human being, who she shows herself to be every day, um, is far more valuable than any interview, although she did exceptionally well in her, in her, um, in her very number of interviews. Um, but we have seen her work day in and day out, and we know who she is at her core um, and what she believes uh, should be provided for our children, for our staff who work with each of our kids every day, um, and to build a school community, and that's what truly impressed us. Um, we know she's ready for this leadership role. We appreciate all that she's given, um, and again, we think we are very proud about what it says about what we value in Livonia Public Schools by recommending her to you as our next elementary principal. And thanks to all of my friends from Hoover and Hayes for being here tonight. It warms my heart to see all of you, um, as well as so many of our elementary principal colleagues. So thank you all for being here. And with that, we're all set. We voted. Okay. <laughs> we're good to go. Congratulations. All right. item to vote on and then we'll be able to uh, step aside and congratulate you so you. one moment here mm -hmm. item four uh, the approval of board member training expenses for the 2024-2025 school year may I have a motion please president Bradford uh, mr. Johnson move that the Board of Education of the Lovomany Public School School District approve the annual pre-approval for anticipated professional development expenses for board trustees in the amount of $15,000 for the 2024-2025 fiscal year, July 1, 2024 through June 30, 2025. Support. We have a motion by Mr. Johnson, supported by Mrs. Burton, for the approval of board member training expenses for the 2024-2025 uh, school year. And uh, Mrs. Oquist, you're gonna speak about this? Thank you, President Bradford. Um, as our board knows, board policy BBBC requires uh, that the board have approval before the district is able to provide any funding um, or reimbursements for board training. Um, we value um, and truly appreciate the time and effort that our board puts into their professional development. It, it really is exceptional and it has earned our board um, the honor of being an honor board for several years running. 
Uh, last year we spent just under $12,000 on a wide variety of courses, um, webinars, and any expenditures related to conference attendance. Uh, we are going to put forth a recommendation for $15,000, and as I shared with you, um, we feel that um, in anticipation of a new board member coming on, because we know Mrs. Benfield will be um, sadly wrapping up her tenure with Livonia Public Schools, and we'll be able to celebrate that this fall. Um, but we know we will have a new board member coming on. Oftentimes in that first year, there are quite a number of courses that are taken, um, and so we anticipate perhaps an increase, um, as well as now that we have this pre-approval that you may be able to take advantage of some of those last minute legal trainings and webinars that come forward that when we had to have a regular meeting prior to that, you were not able to do so. Um, so while we may not um, expend the full 15,000, we do have up to and including. Thank you, any questions or comments? Mrs. Burton. Uh, just for clarification, this 15000 is for the total for all seven board for members, seven not board members. per board member. Correct. It's for the entire year and for all board members. And again, um, in all likelihood, we will not reach that, but we do have the authorization up to that point. And this would cover you through the end of next school year. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? I just want to say I'm, I'm glad we're doing this because this gives us uh, more additional access to professional development. Um, opportunities for us when as before we might have had to wait till a meeting comes up and this way we're able to contact uh, Teresa Jinta and let her know oh this is a class coming up I'd like to attend it so this works out really well and I'm glad our policy um, will allow us to do this so yeah. um, we have a, a motion by Mr. Johnson supported by Mrs. Burton for the approval of board member training expenses for the 2024-2025 school year Mrs. Acosta would you take the roll please Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mrs. Burton? Yes. Mrs. Jarvis? Yes. Mrs. Free? Yes. Mrs. Bonifield? Yes. Mrs. Acosta says yes. President Bradford? Yes, and that motion carries. Moving on to item five, our adjournment. So we will be adjourned uh, just momentarily, and uh, we also have a, an upcoming study session, which will be happening up in the um, up in Patriot Room in just a few minutes. So thank you for, for watching. Have a good evening.